We continue our special Sunday morning winter weather coverage right now. All of North Carolina under a state of emergency as we speak. Now, if you look outside your window, there is a very good chance that you are seeing snow on the ground because snow has been falling in the mountains, in the foothills. And uh, right here in Queen City, we have seen some snow. We've seen some sleet. We've seen rain. And now we're dealing with ice, the whole area under a winter storm warning until at least noon tomorrow. All right, take a look at this. This is just how much snow we think we're going to see by the time this whole thing is over. If we can go to the graphic. Um, it's, it's a lot. We'll just say that 12 to 18 inches up in the mountains down here in the Charlotte area. Uh, a few inches uh, here in the Charlotte area and then four to eight inches once you get up to uh, the Hickory area as well. So just keep that in mind. We do want to remind you there it is. That's the graphic we were waiting yes. for. That gives you an indication of just how much snow we're going to be getting um, over the next 24 hours. And we do want to remind you it's not just snow, it's rain, it's sleet. It's, it's just a little bit of everything out there. It's making roads just absolutely miserable to be on. But before this whole thing even started, the governor uh, giving a, a strict warning to all of us. This is a snowstorm, not a snowfall. It's serious. In the Piedmont to the western parts of our state, we're preparing for days of impact, not hours. He also activated National Guard troops as well. We're expecting to hear from the governor coming up uh, in just a little bit. If you're just now joining us, thanks for joining us here on NBC Charlotte on this Sunday morning. I'm Ben Thompson and I'm Carolyn Brook. And right now we do know that power is a big, big issue and the crews are standing by predicting more than 500,000 people could lose power over the next 24 hours. There are utility trucks everywhere, just like we're everywhere. You can see we have our team coverage right now all morning long. We're going to keep you informed. We're going to do our best to keep you safe. Our team is spread out all across the area from Boone to Hickory and Charlotte and beyond, all of them covering up to the minute conditions. So let's start with meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. Chris is outside in our weather patio. And um, Chris, this is a situation where the worst is far from over at this point. Uh oh. Absolutely, and you're going to hear from all of our reporters every hour. I swear they have another inch on the ground. Meanwhile, where I'm standing, it's mainly rain, but I was putting my hand out, and you also have some things bouncing off my hand. Very fine, fine sleet where we warmed up a degree, and that makes all the difference. So a difference of a degree is going to be a difference between just rain to sleet and then maybe even some freezing rain. And we get our readings from the airport, so right down around here, and that's where you see all rain. Meanwhile, eastern inside of Charlotte looking at sleet, even some freezing rain. I think mainly we're in the sleet profile, but there will be still a chance for the rest of the morning that we could see some ice accumulation. So make sure to keep that in mind. Temperatures, as I mentioned, warming up to about 33 degrees in Charlotte off towards the northwest. They're in the snow profile. They're going to see snow for quite some time up to Statesville, Salisbury. You're in that as well in Rowan County and then to the northwest. Heavy snow at times with accumulation rates at one to two inches per hour. And this is a very cold rain, by the way. So I still think that we have a chance of hovering around 31, 32, 33 degrees in the Charlotte area up to about 34 degrees, which is currently our high temperature for the day, keeping on and off rain potential, on and off sleep potential and snow potential for the afternoon. But it does look like we're going to hit a little bit of a lull. Now let's talk about our snow totals thus far. We officially have a foot, by the way. Meat camp in Watauga County and all of these down to seven devils are all in Watauga County. That's where the big snows have been. So we can officially say that we have a foot of snow in some places and even that 10.5 that you have in Blowing Rock. Realistically, I think that's close to a foot because this is over an hour old now and then going down the list. Lincolnton is an interesting example because this isn't just the snow. It's the sleet that's been mixing in and underneath my feet. It is quite slushy. You might have hear, heard that as I was just kicking it off towards the side. So taking a look at this, this is our enhanced snowfall. It's it's the areas of blue that we're seeing snow rates at over an inch per hour and that expands all the way off towards the northwest where even some of these areas, the areas that you're seeing in the orange, that's an inch and a half to two inches per hour. And that's also going to knock visibilities down at times down below a mile, even down below a quarter of a mile. And then one more caveat, of course, to add to the morning, we will have slight uptick in intensity from place to place and that's going to really allow for 
well, terrible conditions as you're trying to give a report, but then also just makes it a lot messier and reduced visibilities. And then those winds also up to about 25 miles per hour as well. So here is our snow and sleet map. We're still around that two to four inch range across the Charlotte area, factoring in the slushes beneath my feet. So you had about an inch and a half already, and that's including some of the snow and the sleet that's fallen. But it looks like it's already verified that range of up to a foot to a foot and a half of the mountains. Hey, we might even challenge 20 inches by the time we call this said and done. And we'll talk a little bit more about this coming up. We also have the back side of the system, which would be a technical round two for tomorrow. More on that coming up, but let's head back inside. I think I want to head back inside as well. Yeah. All right, Chris, thanks. Round two. Wow. Yeah, I know. Say thanks. So Hickory seen a lot of snow right now, much like the rest of our viewing area. Roads there are a big problem. NBC Charlotte Tana Welker joining us live now from Hickory and Hannah. Actually, if we take if we can take her shot, it looks like it's the snow is wow. actually starting to come down even faster at this point. Yeah, Carolyn, it's actually getting to the point where it's blowing. It, the snow is pelting me in the face. And it really depends on the direction that you're standing. But where I am now, I'm actually at the street now because I want to show you what the roads look like. Guys, this is disgusting. That's all I have to say. Check it out. Look at where my foot is. Luckily, I'm in a good pair of boots, a good pair of snow pants. But this is what you're turning into when you turn from street to street. This is an intersection, okay? That is some deep slush. This right here, and I'm safe. There are no cars on this street. Actually, there is one car. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you how slow this person's going. But look how deep this snow is. It's thick too, and this right here in the intersection, because it's mixing with that slush, it's crusty, it's icy, and this guy's taking it very slow. Be very, very careful, sir. He's in a Ford Explorer. I'm assuming that has all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. But if you're in a rear wheel or front wheel drive car, it is gonna be very difficult for you to get going. Your tires are gonna spin. And in situations like this, when you're at an intersection, you're gonna to wanna to be very, very careful because that's where it's gonna get you stuck, guys. But this is, this is what it's like in Hickory. And yeah, Carolyn, it's been coming down consistently like this since, since we got out here at five this morning. And there's no sign of it stopping either. So I'll toss it back to you in the studio. It's it's rough. It's looking rough out here. Yeah, it does. All right. Hannah. Get back in the car, Hannah. Turn up the heat for sure. All right. Well, this winter storm, the thing is about it, it's not just affecting where Hannah's at in Hickory. I mean, this mm. this is is a monster in its size. It's really affecting the, the entire state almost. The storm has been changing rapidly as well. So one of the major concerns is ice. And that's for everyone. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly live in East Charlotte outside of the storm uh, Chevy Storm Tracker. So Ashley, um, you're standing in front of a downed tree and this is causing power outages. This is what the big problem could be. Yeah, Carolyn, we've actually, we do see some power on at houses nearby this tree. And if you take a look at it behind me, you can see it did not come down on a power line. It barely just missed it, uh, fortunately. So I'm not sure if this tree necessarily is affecting power outages in the area. But this is a prime example of what happens when we do get this very heavy, slushy, freezing rain, sleet mixture. Um, it settles on these tree branches and then just brings them down. Take a look at this uh, branch. I picked this up. You can see it literally just split the branches right off. It's not like this tree wasn't healthy. Look at this. It's incredible. Um, but I do want to go ahead and pan over to the roads because we've been talking about here in Charlotte. Unfortunately, we know there's going to be a lot of very sad little kiddos waking up this morning, peering out their window and seeing instead of snow covered streets, instead it's just rain and a real big mess. But uh, if you take a look at what my photographer Jen is uh, focusing in on, you can see that it is wet. Um, and that's what the meteorologists were saying as well is that all this uh, this weather has really turned into rain and is creating a very slick and icy situation for our roadways. And then Jen, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have you pan up to the power lines above. You can see the power lines starting to accumulate ice on them as well. And that is definitely, as Carolyn was mentioned, an issue for power outages because just like what it did to this tree here, as that ice continues to accumulate on those uh, power lines, it's going to make them very heavy. And then when they get too heavy and they fall, that's when we see a lot of people lose power. Um, 
and I'm a little out of breath because it is so cold here in Charlotte. The wind is picking up and it's raining. Um, but guys, I do want to mention this is Eastway Drive. We're in Plaza Midwood. It's Eastway Drive right at the corner of uh, City Side Drive, just south of Plaza, the Plaza. Uh, there is one lane of traffic open that you can see here over my right hand shoulder. Uh, so do be careful if you are trying to get through this way. Again, this is one side of Eastway Drive uh, near the plaza in Plaza Midway. Midwood is closed due to this tree down, but we have been dotting Charlotte all morning long. We are going to hop back in the Chevy Storm Tracker because we are also hearing a report of a tractor trailer that has jackknifed on 85 North near uh, Harris Boulevard. So we're going to head back in the truck and uh, head to check that out. Mecklenburg County Medic saying 37 accidents and counting already this morning. So if it's best, as we've been telling you, to stay off the roads if you don't have to be. Ben and Carolyn. All right, you be safe out there. Yeah, we'll be safe get back in the car. Thanks so much. Uh, millions across the southeast are really bracing for several possible days without power as this winter storm moves through. Yeah, it's the same storm system that dumped more than 10 inches of snow in parts of Texas and now the state of North Carolina under a state of emergency. NBC's Chris Pallone shows us how this storm is wreaking havoc across the country. In North Carolina, shop owners can't even get their shipment of snow shovels into the store. They were waiting on, a, on the truck when it got here. We couldn't even get off the truck before um, it was sold. The governor has declared a state of emergency warning that half a million people could lose power if predictions of more than 20 inches of snowfall in some places come true. This weekend isn't the time to head out to see some winter wonderland. Stay safe where you are. Getting out on dangerous roads could put your life at risk. Virginia is also under a state of emergency, and crews in South Carolina have dumped 156,000 gallons of brine on roads in the western part of the state to keep ice from building up as long as possible. Um, like I said earlier, we're preparing for the worst. Um, so yeah, we, we will go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if we have to. The weather system dumped record rain in California before bringing a rare 10 inches of snow to Lubbock, Texas. In Houston, a half foot of rain caused flash flooding in low-lying areas. The system drenched the deep south Saturday. Further north, it was ice and snow. Airlines have canceled and delayed hundreds of flights from the southern plains to the mid-Atlantic. Shoppers expecting to be inside for a while have cleaned off store shelves in the areas to be hit next. From our standpoint, we are cautioned on the side of the worst. So we are prepared for whatever comes our way and whichever uh, Mother Nature decides to put on us. Ready or not, for millions of Americans, winter is truly here. Chris Pallone, NBC News. And keep it here. On